Hey folks, Valerie here with a stitch tutorial for leg six of the Pennsylvania Road Trip Mystery Knit Along. And this leg is inspired by the timber trusses of covered bridges. And so you can see I've kind of got these little zigzags or V's. And of course, when we wear our shawl, they will be in this direction. Um, so I've done the first eight rows of this pattern um, and I'm just starting the second row of getting the trusses in place. So we we make those trusses by um, knitting into stitches um, below, several rows below. And actually we're not knitting into stitches, we're knitting into the space between stitches. Um, and this first one that we're doing is a little funny because it's right next to where we did a make one on a previous row. Um, but what's nice is that the color changes here help you know exactly where to put your needle. So we're going to go between the column of stitches that's the end stitch on our left hand needle and the column of stitches that's the end on our right hand needle. So right here, essentially in this gap between your needles, and you're gonna go down. I have done two rows in color C, and I'm going to go below those two. So you can kind of see there's the yarn that's carried from stitch to stitch for those last two rows. And I'm gonna go down into where my color B is and wrap the yarn around the tip of the needle and pull up a loop. Um, now you wanna be careful on tension on this. If you pull this too tight, then it's gonna pull um, the fabric of your yarn and create holes. Um, so pull that up kind of loose and then be careful as you knit the next two stitches, okay? And then we're gonna do it again. So here I'm looking down between the two columns and I'm going down from two rows. So there's one row of blue, two rows of blue, and then I'm gonna stick my needle in there and wrap the yarn around so that I can pull up that loop. And I'm pulling it up so that the loop is basically not gonna pull there. Okay, and then I knit two. And basically, I'm gonna do this all the way across. In um, this row, it's nice because make, I'm going in between the trestles basically on the previous row. Um, so that makes it less necessary to count. I'm gonna work my way across this row and I will be back with you to show you how to do the return row. So I made my way all the way across the right side row, and now I have worked my way almost all the way back across the wrong side. And I just wanted to show you um, what we're doing here, because basically you are purling um, the original stitches and then slipping those extra ones that you made a couple rows below, okay? So you purl two, and then you slip one. And I am slipping with my yarn in front because the back side of the work is towards me. So now I have finished up the back side and you can see um, I don't have V's yet. <laughs> I just have these little stitches here that are hanging down for row number 11. I am going to show you how we take these extra stitches and turn them into the V's. So the first time we do this, um, back on row seven, we actually change colors to our color C, but this time when we're doing it, we're gonna stick with our variegated yarn um, because it just finishes off the section a little bit nicer. So let me start by doing the edge stitches. And then we will be all set. 
So we made one and we are going to knit one. So now to make our little V's, we're going to slip the next two stitches knit wise and we're going to slip them together and we're going to keep our yarn in back towards the wrong side of the work. Okay, so we're going to slip those two stitches together. Now take your point of your left hand needle and insert it into the front leg of that end stitch from your right hand needle. And now look, you're in position to knit. So you're going to knit that stitch. You're going to knit the next stitch from the left hand needle. And now you're going to use your tip of your left hand needle to pick up the slipped stitch and pass it over the two stitches you just knit and lift it off the end of the right hand needle. Okay, well, let's do that again. We're going to slip the next two stitches together. We're slipping knit wise. This is like the only time in the shawl where we're slipping knit wise. Okay, so we're slipping two together knit wise off of the left hand needle. Now we're inserting the tip of the left hand needle into the front of the stitch on the right hand needle and wrapping the yarn around and knitting that stitch. Knit the next stitch and now lift up the slipped stitch and pass it over the two stitches you just worked. It's really simple and you'll get a rhythm to it as you move along the row. And I think that the impact of the stitch, and let's take a look there, you can see already I've got some more trestles showing her trusses. Read the directions carefully. On the very first row of this pattern, you're gonna knit two together or do a decrease somewhere along just to get you an even stitch count. And so on the last row, which is a wrong side row, we have to put that stitch back in. So make sure you read carefully and don't forget to do that because you wanna make sure you have the right stitch count when you finish out leg six heading into leg seven. Have fun.